Welcome back Excel Enthusiast. In today's video, we are diving deep into one of Excel's most powerful function, subtotal. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, this function will revolutionize the way you analyze and summarize your data. So let's get started and uncover the hidden gems of subtotal function. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Before we begin exploring the vast capabilities of subtotal, let's understand what this function is all about. The subtotal function allows you to perform calculations on subset of data within a range or a table. It is especially handy when dealing with large data sets that require flexible and dynamic summarization. Now let's understand the syntax of this function. To use the subtotal function, the syntax is straightforward. The formula is subtotal bracket start function number comma range 1 comma range 2 and so on and then close this bracket. The function number argument specifies the type of calculation you want to perform such as sum, average, count, maximum minimum and many more you can specify multiple ranges as argument which allows you to perform the same calculation on different part of your data set it's important to note that the subtotal function only include visible cells in calculation which makes it incredibly useful when filtering or grouping your data let's dive into the practical example to see the subtotal function in action I will demonstrate the subtotal function using the basic sum calculation. Imagine we have the sales data that include item, rate, quantity and amount. The first thing that we have to calculate is the amount. For this purpose, I will write equal and then multiply the rate with the quantity and then press enter. To find out the amount of sale for the rest of the items, I will use this drag and drop method. After calculating the amount, the first step is to sort your table. For this purpose, I am going to select my table. Then I will go to the data tab and under the data tab, I have this option of sorting it from A to Z. So I will click it. And now you can see that my items are arranged alphabetically. After this, I will select my table. And under the data tab on the extreme right, I have this outline group. And in the outline group, I will click on subtotal. When I click this subtotal, the subtotal window opens. In this window, I have different options. The first option is selected as item. Then the second option is the function that we want to use. So I am going to use the sum function. So I will select sum and then I will check the amount and click OK. When I click OK, you can see that our subtotal function has been applied on our table. To highlight the changes, I am just formatting the table. So you can see that I have subtotal under each type of item like the headphones, keyboard, laptop, mobile charger and mouse. And at the end of the table, I have this grand total. So if I look into the extreme left side, I have these bars. So these bars are actually to minimize and maximize the data. If I click on this minimize, you can see that the data for the headphone is minimized. If I click the next one, the data for the keyboard is minimized and only the subtotal is given in the table. So I can minimize the data and only the subtotal and the grand total is visible in this table. So if I want to get this data back, I will again maximize it by clicking these plus buttons. Another thing to notice is the numbering that is present on the top of these bars. That is 1, 2 and 3. If I click 1, you can see that only grand total is appeared here. If I click 2, 
you can see that we have the subtotal as well as the grand total. And if I click 3, we have all the data and the subtotals and the grand total. Now, if I want to remove all this formatting and bring my data back into the original form, for this purpose, I will select this table, go to the data tab, and then under the outline group, again click this subtotal. The subtotal window will open, and in this window, I will click this remove all. So you can see that your original data is back in the original shape. Congratulations! You now equipped with the knowledge to harness the power of subtotal function in Excel. Remember, this function is your key to dynamic and flexible data summarization, allowing you to analyze and make informed decision efficiently. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more Excel tutorials and share this video with your friends. Feel free to leave any question or comment below. Until next time, happy number crunching.